Secondary School Annual Science Fair. Since they've been working on them for about eight weeks now, we started in early Jan middle of January, and this is the culmination now of all their hard work over the past eight weeks. Our project is on which shots more accurate, overhand, underhand, and sidearm, and we choose this project because we both like to play lacrosse, and we know about know we and we know a lot about it, and we went outside and we did, and each of us took six shots for each shot, and it was fun a little, and we found that that over oh, we found out that overhand had more was more accurate. My project was like is about um like which balloon can pull this Pepsi can like the farthest. Um, it moves because it's aluminum and like the charge from uh, the positive charge from the balloon and the negative charge from my hair and this wool. Um, like they meet up for the first time, so like it has like a force. When we judge, we're looking that the students know the scientific method, that they've learned what the scientific method is and how to apply it to their science experiment. And that's the one thing we're looking for. We're also looking for someone who's a good presenter. Can they talk well? Do they, do they know their topic and are able to explain it to the different people who come by? Uh, we did it on soil erosion because we thought it'd be good if it helps the environment kind of part of the community because it doesn't make big holes all over the ground, stuff like that. The first place winner in grade 5 and grade 6 gets to an uh, opportunity to go on the trip to Mysticini where the Aboriginal Science Fair is going to be held this year. So the first place winner in 5 and 6 get to go on that trip. Every year um, we see some great projects. We see the kids who really put in a lot of effort and enjoy it. And every year we're, we're pleasantly surprised by what we get. Because this is a project that the students work 90% on their own at home. And we give them guidance and we go over their stuff. But it, they're pretty much on their own to do this. And so we're always pleasantly surprised at what they come up with and how well they do. So it was a great science fair again this year.